It's preparation your destination by me. What do you think of when you hear the word preparation? Well, to me, preparation is getting or being ready beforehand. With that being said, here are some of my personal experiences with being prepared. I have tons of experiences with being prepared. But the three most important things, though, are school, sports, and life. For example, if I have a football game on Saturday, I get all of my, thing, all of my gear ready the day before to make sure I have everything. And for school, if I have a test, I start studying days before to ensure good grade and to make sure I've got everything down. Now, you may be asking yourself, how can you be prepared for life? Well, let's say for you adults, you keep forgetting assignments for work or school. Simply making a planner so that you can look at from time to time or so that you won't forget is being prepared. With my experience, my experiences, I've received some great benefits. The, benef the two common benefits I've received are having a better mood having more time for yourself. Do you ever wonder why you're always in a bad mood or nothing ever seems to go your way? It's probably because of lack of preparation. If you are prepared, you will see improvements in your mood. You'll feel like there's less stuff to do and you'll be a happier person. The next benefit is having more time for you. If you get all of your priorities done beforehand, you'll have more time to do whatever you like to do. But we can't just go straight to the benefits. You're going to encounter some hurdles first. The hurdles you may encounter while trying to be prepared is maybe you don't know how to be prepared or it takes time or maybe you just simply don't know what to be prepared for. And maybe you think you don't need to need to be prepared or you just want to be lazy and don't want to be prepared. Well if you think you don't need to be prepared and don't want to be prepared this could all lead up to the greatest hurdle of them all, procrastination. To me, procrastination is putting off something that is necessary and trying to do it all, do it all at the last minute later. My seventh grade history teacher, Mr. Yakubowski, once said, procrastination is the assassination of natural ability. To me, this means that if you procrastinate, you tend to rush and there's a lot going on in your head and you can't think straight as opposed to doing it when you were supposed to do it where it comes most natural. But just like everything else in life, there are solutions to these hurdles. A few of my favorite solutions are taking some time out of my day and making a plan or a schedule. If you take some time out of your day, you can get all the things done that are necessary. And if you make a plan or a schedule, you can look back over it and read it instead of trying to remember what you have to do. But all of these things are not just being said to be said. These things really help to greater things in life. Being prepared helps lead to success. If you're prepared, you know what to do. And if you know what to do, you have a great amount of potential to be great in life. It also helps you to expect the unexpected. If something unforeseen comes upon you, you don't have to panic or worry because you already know what to do. Being prepared also helps you be a happier person and the greatest of them all. It helps you, it teaches life lessons, life lessons. If you make a mistake in life or in anything, you don't panic or worry because you already know what to do. You just learn from your mistakes or maybe ask for help. But with my experiences, another of my experiences, there's somebody else who also knows what being prepared is all about. My mentor, Coach Kevin Harder, is a coach here at Oak Ridge. I sat down and interviewed with him, and the thing that he said that stuck out the most was, if you're prepared, you already know what to do ahead of time. What I grasped from this information is that if you're prepared, you don't have to be worried because you already know what to do. Now that you have these tips and keys, go out and act. It helps your well-being, the well-being of others, and it also encourages others to be prepared. So what are you waiting for? Are you just going to stand there and wait till the last minute for everything? I encourage you not to. Go out and be prepared.